Hi, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a lovely smoky grilled corn guacamole. It is so easy, but absolutely delicious, and uh, I feel like I share it with you because it is the time where we have parties, it is the time where we entertain, and it is the time where we need dips and awesome stuff that you can pick out and have conversations with and have a drink in your hands. It's just, it's summer. A guacamole is always awesome. Throw in some grilled corn that's been brushed with a little smoky goodness. You're in business. The ingredients we'll need are few and basics. We're going to start off with some beautiful corn here that I have husked and ready to go. I've got some cilantro, jalapeno, or as I like to call it, a jalapeno. I've got some green onions or scallions, whichever you want to call them. A couple of really nice ripe avocados. I've got some melted unsalted butter, smoked paprika, salt and pepper. That's it, that's all. You're also all going to need some limes. Yeah which I'll get to in just a minute. What I have here is my grill pan. Ideally, you, do the, you would do this on the outdoor grill, you know, on your outdoor grill, but I wanted to share this recipe with you. It's dark outside, the grill pan's gonna have to do. I have my grill pan preheated over high heat, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ears of corn, try to get rid of all those little hairs as much as you can, and I'm gonna pop them on there, and I'm gonna roll them the entire time. I want that to get nice and charred. It's not going to get too, too dark because I am using an indoor grill, but you know, it'll do. I also have a couple tablespoons of melted butter here, and to that, I am going to add some smoked paprika. This is what's going to give you a really beautiful smoky flavor, which I love, 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 and mix that with so that creamy, cool guacamole with all those fabulous you know, the lime, that really bright flavor. It's just a match made in food heaven. I'm also gonna add a touch of salt and pepper, and I'm going to mix these three ingredients together, like so. We have that ready to baste our corn. Let me see, the corn is getting a little color over here, not too much. I'm going to start basting that in just a couple of minutes. Once it's really kind of ready to come off the grill is when I start basting it. In the meantime, because I don't want to cut my my avocados until the last minute, because you know avocados turn brown, I am going to get going on cutting up my scallions and my jalapeno and my cilantro. So I'm just going to take that off and I'm going to give everything a nice fine chop. But, you know, I also like to leave, you know, leave the pieces quite rough as well so that it's creamy but it's still got bites of stuff going through it. That's how I like my guacamole. You can leave things really chunky or you could chop things up really, really fine if you really like yours finely chopped and really creamy, but I like things that are easy. I'm giving my cilantro a really nice chop. Now, I love cilantro. And I don't think, and this is a personal opinion, I just don't think guacamole is the same without cilantro. You can substitute other herbs in it, but for me, cilantro is really what makes guacamole and salsas and things like that. So I like to add quite a bit of it. If, however, you don't like cilantro, substitute with some parsley. That'll be the next herb I would suggest. And then I'm going to cut up my jalapeno. I'm going to have the first... And then I'm just going to take my spoon here and I'm going to seed it. I don't want the seeds because I don't want this to be too spicy. I want this to be spicy enough, but I don't want it to be too, too hot. And I'm using, normally I would do half of a, of a jalapeno, but today I'm feeling hot and smoky. I meant like spicy. So we're going to use the whole thing. And I'm going to give this a really nice fine chop. This is pretty much the only thing I'm going to chop really fine because I don't want anyone to bite down on a large piece of jalapeno. I'm just going to set that aside for a few minutes while I work on my corn. You can see it's got some beautiful color all around. Now is a time where I just go in with a pastry brush and I paint on this gorgeous like flavor bath or whatever you want to call it. It is just stunning. I love how this smells as soon as it hits the heat. And all I'm doing, as you can see, is I'm rolling this around. I'm basting it really well, then rolling it around again. And all I'm going to do is let this sit here for just a minute or so. Not too long. And then I'm going to let it cool completely on a plate. Because I do have to cut the kernels off the cob and I don't want to burn myself. So I'm just going to, ah, oh, this, I'm telling you. This alone would be a fantastic side dish. I mean, just this corn alone on the side like this, 
phenomenal. But today we are starting this, stirring this in some cool, delicious guac. So, okay, this is good enough. I'm not gonna be too picky about it. The only reason I like to make sure every side of it is touching the heat is because I feel like it wakes up that spice. So I'm just gonna let it go for just one more second and then I'm gonna let this cool completely. And you can see the butter turns brown a little bit, it's all nutty. Now I'm gonna just set this here on a clean plate and let it cool completely. Yeah, get my avocados out, put them right into my bowl. Now, a lot of people do this and then twist it and take out the, the stone. I don't like showing you that because I just fear so much that one of you is gonna do this by accident and it's gonna hit the side and then it'll, you'll stab your hand. So don't do that, just what I do is I just squeeze it a little bit and look, boop pops right out and it is just much much easier this way and I don't have to worry about it one of you hurting yourselves or I hurt myself because it can happen and I you know safety first that's my I always always advise face safety first so and you can see that once when your avocado is perfectly ripe you literally all you have to do is just squeeze it a little tiny bit and the stone seed whatever you want to call it pops right out oops I don't want that. Let me get rid of that. And now all I'm going to do is add my lemon juice and salt and pepper now because I want to mash it all together with the lime juice, not lemon, with the lime juice so that it doesn't turn brown. But these limes are not that juicy. You guys know those probably, you guys probably already know that there's some sort of lime shortage so the limes that are available are not the juiciest so I'm probably going to end up having to use two limes actually this looks pretty promising so I'm going to start with one lime squeezed in there and then once I mix it all up and give it a taste test then I can go from there and whether or not I need more lime when it comes to citrus it's up to you I love citrus I can never get enough of citrus I don't think that there's ever been a time where I haven't gone back and added more citrus to a dish but that's just me, personal preference. Start with a half, the juice of half a lime and go from there. Salt, which is crucial to anything to do with avocados because avocados are rich in texture, but they're quite bland. So now all I'm doing is just taking my fork and mashing it all together and combining it with all those beautiful flavors of the cilantro and the green onion and the jalapeno and mashing it all together. That looks perfect for me. It's a little on the chunky side from all those beautiful scallions and jalapeno and, and the um, cilantro, which I use a lot of. I love a lot of it in there, but scale down if you don't like as much. Now, quick tip, whenever you're wanting to cut kernels off your corn on the cob, take a bowl and then take a small bowl that fits really nicely upside down in the bottom of it, just like so. And then that way, your corn, kern your corn kernels fall right down there. So I'll show you. And the bottom is already cut flat. So, so you see it goes right into the bowl and not all over your kitchen counter and your kitchen floor. So all I'm going to do is just cut this all off and then we'll add it to our guacamole. See? And all the kernels are in the bowl. Now I'm going to unite the two. I have been snacking on the kernels. You caught me. What can I say? But girls got to do what a girl's got to do. Get them all out of there, and now I'm gonna just stir them in with my fork. And look at that, look at those colors. I love that that beautiful, bright, orangey yellow pops out from the green, making my mouth water. And this would be really even a great side dish to like grilled chicken breast or something simple like that. Pop this on the side. I'm gonna go in with a tortilla chip because that's just how I roll. Oh. So wonderful. Mm, mm, mm. There's something really awesome about the sweet yet slightly smoky corn kernels balanced so well with that cool sort of spicy guac creamy guacamole. It's just, it's, it's divine. It's really, really beautiful. It's really easy to make. It's delicious. I'm gonna go back in for more because this stuff, my friend, is 
the bee's knees. I just wish my tortilla would stop breaking. <laughs> Go to lauraintheKitchen.com for the written recipe. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. If you do remake this, please make sure you tweet me a picture or Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want. And I'd love to see if maybe you put your own special touches on it. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of <coughs> something stuck in my throat. <coughs> Sorry, something stuck in my throat. <laughs> Did you hear it? I think it was a cilantro leak.